Happy Martin Luther King Day, everyone. I just wanted to quickly bring up the fact that it is Martin Luther King Day as I recorded this update and am uploading this update because it's a very important day for everything that Martin Luther King has fought for, everything that this man has believed in, how he changed this country. It truly is something so inspiring. So I just want to say thank you very much, Martin Luther King. And to show this man some respect, let's give him a moment of silence. And now to continue on with the show. And once again, happy Martin Luther King Day. Hey there everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and welcome to my Blu-ray DVD update and this is my first update for 2017. I bought a few movies from Target right here. I actually went to go buy a few movies after checking out the movie Patriot's Day and this Dare Theater was actually across the street uh, where Target is so I figured why not buy some. My family from out of town actually gave me a $25 Target gift card for Christmas. You could say that half of the purchase was from the Target gift card, but the other half was basically me paying for the rest from there. So you guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So the first movie that I got is a movie that I actually wanted to buy on Black Friday, but they were already sold out when I went to go Black Friday shopping, so unfortunately, I didn't get that. But I actually found this certain movie for a really good price, and I'm so happy that for $19.99, Target actually had the 25th anniversary of Beauty and the Beast. And this is where I mainly use the Target gift card. The other $5 is in one of the other movies, which I'll get to, but $19.99 for this, I couldn't pass it up. It was such a great deal. Just look at this right here. I know it's not good because the lighting isn't exactly the fanciest. I actually do plan to do a review for this very, very soon. It'll be a very special collab review, but all I'll say is this. You heard it from a lot of people. And you're going to hear it from me. It's a wonderful animated film. It's truly a Disney classic. It has honestly everything you want in an animated film. It's got romance. It's got humor. It's got drama. The music is just so beautiful. Both musical numbers wise and just background music wise in general. It's all terrific. The animation is some of the best hand-drawn animation I've seen and the Beast and Belle definitely have some of the best chemistry you'll ever see in an animated movie. Beauty and the Beast is such a wonderful film. I do look forward to reviewing this movie soon. Definitely happy to be owning this on Blu-ray and DVD because I've definitely been wanting to own it. Now the next movie that I use the other five dollars of my gift card after that i went ahead and paid for the rest of the movies from there but the last five dollars i used it on is one of my favorite movies of 2016 10 cloverfield lane i actually finally own this movie i've been wanting to own it for a very long time it was only 15 dollars. it was 14.99 if you guys have seen my review you know that i love this film. Now that I think about it, it's been a year since that surprise out of nowhere trailer came out and then to be excited for this film for two months and for it to finally come out. Oh my goodness, this was such a great surprise movie with a terrific performance from John Goodman. Mary Elizabeth Winston and John Gallagher Jr. are also absolutely terrific. Honestly, for a movie that Pretty much, that really did just focus on three characters. These three performers did such a terrific and very convincing job. I definitely cannot wait to rewatch this movie. And oh yeah, I actually even love the climax. I know a lot of people had a lot of problem with the climax where the film was building up to, but I think personally it made sense for why the film built up to that certain climax. And I'm not gonna lie, I personally think it's one of the best climaxes of 2016. My heart was pounding for that entire 
final 15 to 20 minutes of the movie. So 10 Chlorophyll Lane, it's one of the best films of 2016, hands down, and only for $14.99. And now for the final movie of this update is another film that I bought for $14.99. I actually got very great deals with these movies and that movie is also one of the best movies of 2016, Hell or High Water. Talk about a breath of fresh air. This movie came out in August. I think I've heard this movie before a lot of people did because I would see trailers once in a while to this film and I would always go, I'm interested in this film. Like I actually wanted to see it. I wasn't like excited for the film uh, per se, but I was like very interested. I wanted to see this film when it came out. And so my family and I went to go check out this film and um, they thought they really liked it and I love this movie. I think Hell or High Water is just such an incredible classic western film, but not the western film where it's like bang bang or anything like that. It's one of the more slow burn kind of western films and it was so compelling. Talk about a movie that has no twist or turns. It just tells a very compelling story on these two robbers, yet there's a huge reason for why Chris Pine and Ben Foster are doing the things they are doing. Granted, what they're doing is wrong, but you could see why they're actually doing something like that. And Jeff Bridges and his partner, they definitely add some comedic. There were actually plenty of moments where I was laughing during this film, but when this film gets dramatic, you're at the edge of your seat, particularly in the climax when stuff really, really starts to happen. It is just so great. The performances are so, just so amazing in my opinion. Chris Pine, it is a shame that he is honestly gonna get snubbed at the Oscars because I truly do think he gives a very Oscar-worthy performance here. And I could even say the same thing for Jeff Bridges, even to an extent Ben Foster, to be honest. Uh, I think they're all deserving of getting some kind of Oscar nomination, but I know that won't be possible. Nonetheless, whether it gets Oscar nominations or not, even though I know most likely it won't, I still love this movie. This movie is incredible. So definitely happy to be owning Hell or High Water. So you guys, that'll about do it for my Blu-ray DVD update and the comments down below let me know what did you think about Beauty and the Beast, 10 Chlorophyll Lane, or Hell or High Water. This is 22 Tiger Dude here and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.